we're going to be doing a series of Pell classes and stuff for uh, the Honorable Clover. Uh, I don't know when this is going to be shown, but a lot of people talk about, I live in a small place, I don't have a Pell, what can I do for Pell practice? Well, if you have a door and a dowel or even a stick or a tan, you can do it. Um, basically, we'll pretend this is the door. So you're going to open the door and stand in front of it and you're going to mark it. I'm left-handed, so here, let me do this right here. So you're going to do this. One edge of the door is going to be one, two, and three, right? And four, five, six. It's the same thing, except you're not really focusing on any power generation necessarily. You're focusing more on the muscle memory of it. So you're just going to tap it. One, 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 two, one, three. And you're going to be focusing on like that, that shot right there. See? And I'm going real slow to build up that muscle memory, okay? So one. And you see how I'm twisting my hips? I'm still getting that, that motion in so that way when I really want to throw a shot and I'm at something I can hit harder, I can twist my hips. See what I'm saying? Also, if you don't have a padded pelt, you shouldn't hit it that hard. Okay? I'm just demonstrating. See that? See how my feet are planted? I'm twisting this way. If I had a shield, it'd be different. You'd see more, but. Alright, there you go. That's how you do a door drill, and that's the results of it, okay? I'm done.